One of the lines of research I do is nature therapy. And the goal with the nature therapy research is really building on something that we know from the real world, which is that nature lowers anxiety levels. Most people are familiar with this idea. And so really what we're doing in VR is, is really asking that question, would it work in VR? My name is Dr. Anthony Chasson. I'm a professor in the Department of Psychology at Mount Royal University. So one way to articulate the benefit of VR in nature therapy research is sort of a metaphor of going to a movie. So if you go to a movie and that movie is really good and you're really engaged in that movie, you know that that movie can affect your mood. It can make you happy, it can make you sad. Well, the same is true in nature therapy. If we can put people in a nature space that really engages their attention in that space, then that space will have a bigger impact on their mood state. We've actually been doing that for quite a while and it turns out it works. And so what we're doing now is spending more of our time working on which types of environments will lower anxiety the most? What elements can we add into the environment that will help with that process? I mean, I actually build VR worlds, nature worlds. The act of building them for me is, is nature therapy. We're moving trees around and designing terrain and so forth. The inspiration's easy. I just love outdoors and hiking and, and nature. I've been doing that my whole life. It's fundamental to include students in the research process. We're here at Mount Royal in an undergraduate university. The lab isn't full of graduate students, so it can be full of undergraduate students. That's one of the great advantages of Mount Royal University. And so when we bring those students in, they have so many creative and interesting ideas that I wouldn't have thought of. They look at projects from a different angle than I would look at them from. And as a result of that, they're an invaluable resource in the lab, absolutely invaluable.